Friends of Privateer FX. Just gonna go over the European Open today. Wednesday the 6th of December. We'll start off with this yen. Uh, yen appreciated last night, creating some angst for our book. We have a stop below 112 the figure, so we're still alive, but we had this BOJ member talking last night. Masai, he acknowledged that the ultra easy policy at the BOJ is weighing on bank profits. This combined with sort of a risk off tone from the late in the New York session caused the end to appreciate down to 112.06. As you can see though, on this uh, hourly bar here, we're Looks like we're going to bullish engulf on this first hour here in the uh, Central European hour. London doesn't come in for 15, but 15 minutes. But we'll have to see where this where this bar closes. 15 minutes to go. Uh, we are still in dollar accumulation mode. Uh, there are a couple of items that worry us, but we'll have to just see how things pan out. We have this possible government closure on Friday. Yeah, there's a deadline to uh, raise the raise the budget that has to be done by Friday or else US government closes. This obviously would be uh, very negative. You have potential also, uh, you know, they have some far off potential of either war with Korea or impeachment of Trump, neither of which I think are super close at the moment. These will all be dollar negative. But if, if these three things do not happen, we see the dollar to continue to appreciate. Obviously, we had uh, a big battle yesterday at 112.86. Tried multiple times to get through that. Uh, we were unable to. That was late in the European evening. This will be now become an important level on the top side. And we'll just have to see how this resolves itself here on the downside. Today, the first resistance will be 37, which was the gap fill break. Breakdown last night <coughs> on the comment from the BOJ. Uh, we'll see how we go from here. Euro um, still hasn't filled the gap from Monday. We printed down to the figure last night. We saw... We saw about 200 million on the bid at the figure last night after a pretty slow grinding move down. All of this sort of dollar yen movement and the possibility of the government shutdown, I think, has taken the air out of the sales a little bit of the dollar. But the next point in euro, of course, will then now be the figure, as you can see on a longer term chart. Not much support once we get through this. I think the trade down here is um, if you are like we are long dollars, you want to add through the figure. But on this edition, you just need to leave sort of a 12 stop because this sort of 10, 11 area should become resistance once we get through the figure. Dollar Swiss printed a marginal high last night. Very painful typical dollar Swiss type move. Let's go to the dailies. Uh, you know now we're 140 points from the gap. We've had two green bars first two days of the week. Could easily see sideways and another marginal uh, marginal high. Um, but looks constructive still. Technically nothing jumping out at us. I'll just look at gold. No point in being uh, gloating about it, but 1271 was the break yesterday, as we talked about for the three days preceding. Traded all the way down to 6093. You'll see resistance now uh, at this 71 area. We took profit on our gold, so we don't have a position anymore, but you could argue that this double bottom here, 1261, is going to feature and be very important. 
if we have a continuation move lower. What else is there? Aussie Yen and CAD Yen both had pretty serious down days. Oh yeah, we should look at the dollar CAD. We'll look at it cl more closely at the New York Open, but Bank of Canada today, they're going to do nothing with rates, but it seems likely that they're going to make some comment on the economy, the currency value, or the housing. could be negative. CAD. Yesterday we pulled a sort of reversal daily bar out of out of a hat. Uh, that high was 02. Today we've printed a new high, 07. More importantly, 25 is the high, and then we start eating away at some of these employment CAD gains that were on Friday. Uh, but we'll get a more serious Bank of Canada rundown at the New York Open. Just have a look at the CAD yen, which has had an amazing run. Uh, as we pointed out, these dojis here led to here. This was very dicey bar because that was the CAD employment. There was really no liquidity until 87.90. Then we continued all the way up 89.24. So this is just giving back some of its gains. And it's not really a trade there. Um, just sort of mentioning it. One last thing. Dollar Turkey. Again, as we mentioned yesterday, this looks to have turned. Uh, I have no idea why this was this could possibly be happening except for the fact that it's massively overbought um, politically things are still terrible their leader is vilified globally uh, their population is out of work I don't understand uh, what's going on here but technically speaking Consolidation, two big solid days now, and now we have sort of a triple bottom here at 383.90. Although we did print a 69 low yesterday, but we'll ignore that because it was Istanbul was closed and it was in the twilight zone. So prices below 383.95. Looks like uh, could forebode further dollar turkey selling. Dollar turkey is for the brave. If you've never traded it before, don't. Uh, but if you have some experience with it, this looks like the beginning of one of these sort of dollar turkey type trades. Uh, it is a trendy little guy, so we'll see how we go from there. All right, that's it for now. Uh, no data here in Europe this morning to speak of. We have rates from Brazil today. Um, if anyone cares about that, they're probably going to cut. And we've got uh, one ECB speaker worth noting, Mersh. He's at uh, 11.30 Central European time. Good luck with the trading, and speak to you at the New York Open.